Welcome back to the world of Kenshi, where danger lurks around every corner and survival is key. Get ready for a thrilling experience filled with action, strategy and adventure. Well, today we're in the search for the mysterious city called Crab Town, a town supposedly filled up with people that love crabs. Not for eating purpose, but to hold them as pets. And after that, who knows, maybe we'll be even able to reach the Ashlands today. The most dangerous place in all of Kenshi. Whoa, crab raiders, those are the guys I'm talking about. But we gotta have to watch out. They seem friendly now, but sometimes they just randomly attack for no reason. So move carefully, guys. The pits east. The environment looks absolutely incredible. I don't even know what that thing is, but it looks really cool. Ah, this is not crab town. That's just one small little hut, a lonesome building. Beep, let's go check it out. Ugh, I knew it, another iron spider infested ruin. This sucks balls. The loot probably ain't even worth it. Let's, let's keep on going. That must have been a massive freaking building. The closer we get to the Ashlands, the more crazy those objects lying around all over the place get, man. Look how huge that thing is compared to us. There's some kind of settlement not far from here. Let's go, guys. Wow, look at this. They built a whole ass base in that crater. That's amazing. Is that crab town? It is. They got crabs made it past the skeleton uh say a lot that says something of course i mean we got john claude van damme in our team nothing can stop us look how many crabs there are here <laughs> this is amazing they also got an armor shop first let's check out this building this must be their headquarter and this must be no other than the queen herself <gasps> the crab queen absolutely stunning and we can talk to her. <gasps> a man of the crabless ways, I see. Well, crabless man, what do you know of crabs? Dude, I don't know what she's on. We got two handsome looking crabs in our team already. What I know about crabs. <laughs> All I know is I love them. Mm, who wouldn't? They're intelligent, affectionate and loyal too. You will fit in well with the Crab Raiders. Oh, does that mean I can join the Crab Raiders? What? Just like that? We crapped our open-minded people. Prove yourself. We have enemies in the pits. Prove your loyalty to the Crabs and they will do so in return. Sign me up. <laughs> Best response. The lady of the Crabs, the Crab Queen herself, is about to honorly knight us into, into the Crabhood and asks us of our loyalty and beeps just like cool shit sign me up <laughs> amazing uh, relations with skin bandits decreased by minus 75 skin bandits are now hostile towards you well they never been friendly in the first place relations with reavers decreased by minus 75 uh f those guys relations with skeleton bandits decreased Dude, how many more? Crab Raiders are now your allies. Damn, look at this. We are now allied with the freaking Crab Raiders. That's, that's amazing. Do they have any interesting people at the bar? Let's check it out. Adventurer. Eh, guess you'll be on your way down to the Ashlands then. Damn right you are. Ain't ever seen anyone go to the Ashlands and come back out. <gasps> it's a one-way journey and whatever is down there ain't worth dying for. Well, I certainly wouldn't go without the crap. Well, <laughs> then we're just fine, I guess, since we got two. We even got two crabs in our team. So double the chance of survival. Easy. Let's also check the armor smith for some legendary crab armor. This armor is worthless. Standard, great, shoddy, great. That's the best you got, bro. What the hell, man? This uh, won't protect shit. They got crab armor blueprints, though. Guess we could make our own crab armor. With some luck and maybe even a bit of patience, we could be able to get some decent grades out of it. 
But I don't know, man. That would take a lot of time to make. And our base is literally on the other side of this continent. Well, we'll, we'll see about that. I let the team wait outside of the base on purpose. Otherwise, they would have gone on a rampage again for no reason at all. Didn't want to risk that. Wow, look at that army. Those crap guys sure know how to mobilize. Glad they're our allies now. Crapped, wait up, share some action. Let's make crap food of the skeleton Sialots. What? Ugh, they're following me. J just like that. We got an army of, of crap raiders following us. That's insane. Let's go, guys. Let's get to the Ashlands. Now we can just waltz in there and kick Catlon's ass with ease. Let's check. Are we really prepared? Is that it? Are we really heading straight to the Ashlands now? I remember the last time we tried getting there. We got our ass kicked by the turret tower right there. Barrier tower. I'm not gonna go that route again. They got literal robot snipers sitting on the tower 24-7 aimbot looking as a uh, robot sniper maybe here this part uh, looks passable maybe a little bit of a swim but definitely manageable let's try and to get there and enter uh, the ashlands from there mm, what's this this looks like a skeleton workshop like the same workshops we we have seen in the black desert and there are even robots uh, doing workshop things <laughs> Look, he, he has a hammer and stuff like that. That's so cool. Yes, those samurais uh, from last episode are still following us. They're stupidly annoying. <gasps> Contract with the crab raiders has ended. No, don't leave me. Please, I beg you. It hasn't even been a day, man. Oh, man. Well, it was fun while it lasted. Another crab raider army. It seems like there are a lot of crab raiders roaming around this area in the pits. Which is actually pretty good. Pretty good to, uh, to know there are a lot of friendly guys roaming around next to the Ashlands. They can patch us up if something should happen to us. We made it guys. We are at the pits. And there, just across the sea. <gasps> I can already see it. There is the Ashlands. And, oh man, there's a tower. Oh no, you gotta be kidding me, man. Don't tell me that's another turret tower. Great, sniper tower. They're gonna nail us down with aimbot precision on their automated harpoon turrets. God damn it. The sun is coming out. Look at this. Does that not look absolutely stunning? You know what they're saying if the morning sky is blood red? It means there's gonna be a lot of bloodshed. Let's go, beep. Let's check out how close we can get to the tower. Whoa! Crab Raiders! <laughs> what are they doing? They're already attacking the sniper tower. Are they for real? There's a full ongoing war happening already out here. <laughs> what the hell? Beep, let's go help them unlock the door. This is our chance, man, to take over the tower now or never. Let's go, guys. Get them sniper idiots. That's insane. We got so many forces. Let's go guys. Get in there. Okay. <laughs> that was like uh, 200 guys against 8 sniper boys. <laughs> and that was the legendary Ashlands uh, defense. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's it? That, that was kind of unimpressive. Well, now those turrets are mine. This is it. <gasps> the Ashlands. It's so beautiful. <gasps> I don't even know what this is. Or, or this. Or, or that. But it's cool. It's cool. Oh my. Not those guys again. Skeleton fanboys. I don't get it. Like, uh, we got the skin bandits. Uh, that, uh, those are actual robots wearing human skin. Trying to be human. And, th and then we got those guys here. Humans that are trying to be robots. What's the goal here? I don't understand. Best thing is they're living right next to each other. Equally brainwashed. You know guys, I was thinking what would be really cool to maybe build a base here. I kind of like this tower. The idea of setting up a base up here would be interesting, I think. But 
I don't think we can just claim it. The game won't actually let us. We actually have to build our own outpost from scratch if we want to have something like that. It would be beneficial to have like some sort of a small outpost around here. What do you guys think? Like, can we build a base in the middle of the Ashlands, maybe? Let's send Beep over and let him check out how, if there are some kind of resources out there. Cause you know, we need copper, iron and stone. Dude, those crab raiders are literally walking on Ashland soil. Dude, don't tell me stories again about people never returning from here. You guys are literally going in and out. Damn dude, Beep is the first one to set foot on the Ashlands, guys. The first one out of our team. Looks very interesting around here. Lots of iron spiders and strange objects. Let's see, environment dead, resources dead. Nothing good out here. Well, I already thought so. It's, I mean, it's just ashes all around here. You can build shit from ashes. Maybe a base in the pits would be a better option. I mean, it's not far away, right around the corner. This, this looks like a good spot, good resources, good environment. But I don't know guys, that would be hell of a lot of work. Let me know what you guys think about that, if you uh, want to see that. Or should we just rush straight up to Catlin? But for now, that's it for this episode so far. Hope you liked it guys, thanks for watching, thanks to all my Patreons. Your support is very much appreciated. You guys are simply the best. Hope I'll see you next time. Until then, have a good one. Goodbye.